So if you have a if you have a barren shoreline and you want to get aquatic vegetation going, especially if you want to have um, pond weed, um, if it's in your if it's in your seed bank, if it's in the soil that's already there, and you give it just a little bit of protection so that it can take off. Um, it'll probably come in on its own. It is something, I mean, you can buy seed, you can buy um, seedlings just like you would from a nursery if you were going to reestablish native prairie or something like that. That's definitely the much more costly and labor intensive way to go is, you know, trying to get something started that's not there, but, but you can definitely do it. But usually, coontail, some of the pond weeds, cara is ubiquitous. We find it from southeast Texas to northern Minnesota. It's everywhere. It's carried on bug fe or bird feathers and tiny seeds. It's, it's, odds are it's probably in your lake already. If you just get the water conditions right, it should pop up. And I don't know, we've been lucky this year. It's, it's showed up in a lot of lakes we've been managing. It has a really complex structure to it. You have tons of tiny little, um, they look like little, little leaflets and stuff in there but it gives you all kinds of extra surface area that little, little bugs and stuff can hide in. That bacteria and that scum that forms on any surface like that, they, some, some people have made the analogy that it's like the peanut butter on the cracker. The, the cracker is the substrate and all that bacteria and, and slime that's on there is the peanut butter and that's the really nutritious stuff that the, the bugs and the, the small fish are gonna scrape off and eat.